All right, guys. Today, somebody gave me a Thorson Allied ratchet. Three eighths drive. Look, just to show you how bad it is. I mean, the handle rusted. It still, it could be usable, but this right here, it's it's locked up. There's nothing I can do right now. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put this on the wire wheel and just wire wheel it. Just knock some of that rust off to see if I can take this apart and free it up and use it or make it usable anyways. I mean, it's free. I don't have nothing in it except for maybe my time. Most of you probably wouldn't mess with it, but it's a free tool and it's, if it's usable, it's usable. They were gonna throw it away and they said, if you want it, you can have it. And I thought, well, yeah. So go over the wire wheel, run it over and see what comes out. All right, sorry. I'm using the wire wheel at the vacuum because it's over 100 degrees outside and the vacuum sucks my air conditioning out, so I want to try to stay cool. This thing is rusted, 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 rusted. I'm just gonna take it apart. I'm gonna try to take it apart. I think I'm gonna have to put it in a vise and just break this off. I can't see any other way. Hopefully, maybe I have another old ratchet or something I can use for spare parts. Let's go to the uh, vise. All right, let's see how this is gonna work. Well. Broke free. I think it's going to be reusable though. Yep, it snapped off. Yeah, it snapped off. I figured it probably would. What I should have done, I'm in a hurry and I'm tired of working on the Tahoe, so I want to do something different. And it, some days you should just should give up on working on things. Yeah. 
Yeah. I probably should let this soak for a while because I don't think that rust is ever going to come loose. There might still be something stuck right there. I don't know. Oh. Can't tell if that's a piece of metal or a piece just just rust. Well, I guess if it is rust, it's a piece of metal. What's left of it? All right. Well, of course, I can't find my screwdriver that I'm looking for. I think I'll just slow down and put this in some rust dissolver and see if that breaks up a little bit there. It's not even budging. All right, that was a waste of time. All right, let's get back. I've been letting this sit for two weeks now. I need to try to break it loose and see if it's rebuildable, if it's workable, or anything to do with it. <laughs> I think sometimes you just can't win them all, you know what I mean? Oh, I need a better screwdriver. Let's see what I got here. Well, maybe maybe I shouldn't mess with this. Nah, it's rusted pretty bad. I don't think this is salvageable. I just want to see. stab myself with a screwdriver here in a minute. I don't know if I can get this out. Ah, oh, there it goes. Broke, broke the rust loose. Let's see how bad this one is. This was given to me too, like the other one. And you know, if, it, if, it, if I can use it, I'll use it if I can. And some of you guys probably think it's not worth it, but. Ooh-wee. Oh, it's rough. Rough, 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 rough. See how much. Look at that rust inside there. problem I'm going to have now is, oh, this thing's, yeah, I got to feel in the bearing and this thing is, is gone. Well, I see one, is it one or two bearings in there? A little carb action there, I just want to get some of the debris out.
pin down in there is what I'm trying to press down. You press the pin down and then you can turn this top and you should be able to slide this whole assembly out of here. Hmm. Well, sometimes what I thought about doing was taking this part well, and that thing's frozen too this thing this thing is one side's frozen pretty good the other side It does not want to move. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me, uh, Soak this for a little bit and then play with it and see if I can't break it loose. I just realized the detent on this one, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, that's not worth it. Look at the detent. They're both rusted. They're they're not even worth. This video is gonna suck. Yeah, they're not even worth trying to repair. It's not even even they were given to me, I don't have nothing invested in it, but there's no way you can't even get, I'd have to grind this off to get the socket just to sit on there. So it's really not usable. This is going to be a sucky video, but I'll post it anyways. Just because it's free doesn't mean it's usable or good that you can do something with it. I really I mean, this is, this is just corroded so bad. I, I don't understand how people can do this to their tools. It's just amazing to me that, and I'm sure they didn't intentionally do this, or they know they did it or meant to do it, but man, that's a Thorson that's made in Japan. So it's not a bad tool, or wasn't a bad tool, now it is. This one didn't have a mark on it, maker's mark as far as I can tell. Oh, wait a minute, it does. Done. It might say DuPont, or I can't read it. Duralite? I, shoot, I can't see doesn't matter it's no good well I was gonna make a video I'm trying to put pieces together to make one work but obviously this is gonna be a bad video I mean you just sometimes you just can't win them you can't win them all I mean yeah they're free but they were given to me but they're not good for anything except for trash that really stinks. Oh well. At least, uh, you know, you guys can see that not everything is good and is worthy of repairing or fixing. And this one, all the detent moves on this one a little bit. But this one's solid as rock. It's even missing some. But even if I could get it apart, there's no, there's really nothing, oh, man, is that worth sticking in there? No, that ain't gonna work. I'm trying to think of my options here. You know, this 
since I took it apart, this is swole, the rust is, I need to clean all the rust off of it. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just talked myself out of uh, tools here. This is trash. I can't even use them for parts. There's nothing here really to use. Uh, I mean, they're not great tools. They weren't outstanding tools when they were new, but they were usable tools. And, and now, man, I hate it when people do that. I always try to fix, I just try to save them if I can. But I can't save this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. This video is probably going to suck, but I'm going to post it anyways just so you can see that uh, not everything is savable. I, I, I know there's guys out there that make these videos that, you know, they take old junk tools and bring them back sometimes it's just not worth time or effort and even if i could i think they're these tools aren't worth it. i mean this isn't doesn't say snap on doesn't say proto on it craftsman uh, though i do like thorson but this is this thorson allied was one of the cheaper ones near the end of their their company so it's not a real good tool all right, guys, I'm sorry for this video, but uh, y'all have a good evening. Thanks.